so hello guys uh, I'm back with another video and in this on this video I'm gonna show you the residential side of things at MIU so basically there are three types of buildings uh, in fact four uh, one is the building like this uh, this is uh, this is H5 as you can see in the box the written label H5 this is the dome in which I reside in right now it is a little bit long and you can park your cars here and it has the capacity of about uh, 70 people 70 people uh, with separate rooms they can reside here and here is the uh, bicycle stands where you can place your bicycles and you can see uh, there there is the heating and cooling system and uh, let's go inside and uh, for these uh, domes you get two keys one for the one for your dome and one for the whole dormitory entrance if you lose these you have to pay 150 dollars fine and so to get inside this dome i'm gonna place this key so let's get inside and you can see on this passage you first of all you're greeted with a sanitizer so this building has three floors uh, this is the ground floor then on the below we have underground and then on top there is the first floor and you can see the dormitories it, it, the drawer doors look like these and first of all the thing that we see is the notice board you can see the uh, safety instructions and you can see the phone call that you can make and it were in important phone numbers and so yeah here we have a relaxing room we can say we can study here or we can play some music sitting on the sofa and this is the place where people um, they leave their stuffs and the people who want uh, all different kinds of stuffs they can pick it up here and clothes are placed here and on each three uh, floors we have a bathroom and uh, yeah and let's go upstairs on the first floor and we have fire extinguisher on each floor and we have fire exits as you can see and uh, this is the TV lawns where we can play some guitar there's a huge TV uh, this is this TV also is, is of our RD and you can also see NVIDIA sealed here you can iron, iron your clothes here is a whiteboard for interview practice and also we have keyboards if you are on those kind of stuffs and basically the structure of the buildings uh, the structure of the building is almost the same for all the buildings and here is also some uh, domes and you can see the vacuum cleaner yeah two of each two of each are placed on buildings so this is the restroom and you can see uh, here you can wash your hands and face you can uh, dry your hands and the toilets they look like these there is no what do you call it a uh, water there is only a way to use uh, toilet papers you have no other way of cleaning except uh, toilet papers and you can flush it using these or you, we have also this kind of sensors from which if you come out uh, they will flush out automatically and this is the soap um, squeezer you can take out soaps and this is the urination uh, three of each are placed here these are mirrors yep and for bathing uh, we have this kind of setup in which the water it comes as you like this is the cold one and to heat up you we can go all the way here and you place your toothbrush to here and for privacy all you can do is close this thing 
and but little bit uh, those people who are little bit worried about their privacy they have to I don't know they, they might not like it and this uh, this is little bit secure I guess for bathing I use this often so let's go to the down flow ground flow the view looks like this this is glass and you can see the back side those are other dormitories other buildings and there are five of these in high rise I reside in high rise and uh, there are different structures building in the other side I'll show you the next video on that and you can see this is a mini recreational center you can do all those kind of uh, exercises and this is table tennis board and these are gym equipments fred mill snooker pool if you are onto this those kind of things trade mill another one and here is a, a dormitories of other people so So this is the laundry room where you can do your laundry these are washing machines and dryers so this is another restroom and this is the kitchen my man i'm taking a video bro i'm making a video yeah i'm good how are you all right yeah 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 good yeah good man and you can if you don't like the food of Arjun, you can come and eat like Berkir is doing right now. He's making some omelets. I'm fixing the fridge, man. <laughs> He's fixing the fridge, in fact. And you can place your uh, food inside here with your label on. You have to write your name and your room number and you can place your foods. You can see these kind of foods of students inside. Uh, thanks a lot for fixing this. <laughs> And you have uh, microwaves and toasters here and you, you have to clean these all yourselves clean stuffs chalkboard microwave then oven here and the ventilator and you can also get this kind of uh, what do you call it um, utensils these are given or placed by students themselves yep utensils you can use these and you may find more here so now this is a ladies an uh, emergency ladies guest room and you can use these as well if you are onto privacy and stuffs and this one is the storage you can if you can see there is one grand piano inside you can if you are into onto those you can also use that so this is also so Cecil's place hello Cecil Hi. and he has placed Nepal's flag here and his various there chairs and his computer setup is like these and these are the basins and he has here some apples and some what do you call it uh, Nepal's flag topi and Dhaka some Dhaka topi Padgaon topi. topi and some bathroom stuffs, stuffs. Yep, and some uh, Maruchan noodles. So finally, let's check out my room of H4 Rajiv Gumali. Let's open it up so you can. I'm greeted with this views bed and computers. Here is the towel hanging thingy, and yep, from this side you can see the room's structure. And here's this big bed. You get these um, blanket stuff, sort of things, and mattress and mattress cover. One pillow from the MIU when you arrive here. And I have placed some uh, prayer things and meditation things and books, marks here. You can place place books or your stuffs here. Here's my bag placing place. And here's this basin. And don't forget to buy these one of these boilers because it's it will get really really cold on winter times and I also wash my dishes with these things 
and here this is how my computer looks like this is Alienware and I bought this monitor for hundred dollars from eBay and you get one of these chairs for free from MIU and these are the uh, bins that you get and uh, I, I place some computers and some documents here you can see you can place any sort of things there and one of my friend he gifted me this fridge uh, one of my friend from Ethiopia he gifted me this freeze and I'm using this mini freeze it's good and this is weighing machine water bottle and some iPad and these kind of stops you can place here and this is how my upper uh, items look like and you can place your um, uh, what do you call it uh, clothes and socks everything's here and if you want to look at the closet this is how it looks like you can place your what do you call it uh, items here it's a little bit messy but uh, you can arrange by on your taste and you can see the instructions when the tornado comes and all those energy saving things you can read these and here is this light bulb yep it lights this up and there is this big window and this thing lights up with these yep so that your face looks good yep i'm gonna turn these off and you can see the ac hidden and cooling if you place this thing on right it cools and if you place this thing on the uh, left it heats but uh, as the system the heating system and cooling system is central you can only heat or cool at a time it's at, at, at it's a summer we can only cool at this time so this is how my dome look like and as per this notice you can see that you need to uh, observe our their quiet hours it's from 9 30 p.m to 9 30 a.m no chill noises till then and our rd and ra's names and their numbers are placed here ra means resident advisor and rd means resident uh, director these those are the people if you have any troubles with your doms you have to contact them like if you get locked out of your room or if you're having some sort of problems of your room then you need to contact these people rd and ra so this is a another residential dorm that is close by to the golden dorm and this building is little bit facilitated in terms of uh, test bathroom and toilets and the rooms are bigger and these dorms were usually intended for uh, for people students who wanted to share the rooms uh, in which in another terms one room for two people but that is not the case right now due to COVID so we enter and this is the entrance hall what a beautiful you can see it and the hallway is huge empty space and you can see the vacuum and yep these are the restaurants for man and this is a room of mr kozu and you can see this this room is uh, like almost uh, 40 percent larger than the room that i that i'm in right now and here's a nice set of book and here's this setup computers and you can see the drawers yep drawers and there is this basin and another drawer another closet looks good and then he also has a fridge and the restroom looks like this yep uh, if you can better prefer this building over others there is a bathtub and a and a separate bathing place showering place and it's it has more privacy uh, unlike ours yep and uh, this is the toilets and this is the kitchen you can see it's huge 
it has a lot of spaces and so this is the exit and this is the diner people can come and have their dinners here hey, hello man, how are you i'm i'm making a vlog for incoming students say hello to the camera hey. <laughs> yeah welcome to mru yep 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 and grand it's not a grand but it's piano you know. um, can you see this cooking things and laundry are here drawers what you guys cooking what is this looks delicious it's uh, tomato and meat yeah good good good, good, good. It looks delicious so there's microwave yep looks good see this recreational place it's huge foosball study room couches you can see students playing fifa who's winning yeah good 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 you losing they're winning <laughs> you can see people enjoying their leisure time playing this is vinazo's room and these two are the guys who share the same room these are Vinazo and salo that's why they can they are letters and they can that's why adjust with each other and they, they what would you get you get uh, 200 dollars per month is it discount, yeah. Yeah. a discount of 200 dollars uh, they can they get 200 dollars in their pocket yeah. each each 200 dollars each yeah. to spend and that's a that's a uh, benefit for these guys and if you guys are onto that also it's a it's it's a great option for that for you guys 